<laughs> What's going on, you guys? It is TBA man, and as you see, this is a snakehead video on this particular day on the snakehead trip. There, that was supposed to be the last day of nice warm weather. Very next day, it started raining outside. The temperature dropped. Not necessarily the best conditions for snakehead fishing. You can still catch them, but the bite is really going to die down now. This trip was actually evolved into a video of how I try out new snakehead spots. All right. First and foremost, I drive around Blackwater and I just don't, I don't use a GPS and I just go out and I look for new spots. I look for certain features and if it looks good, then that's when I'll actually get more specific into actually putting a line out and start looking for signs of life, all that good stuff. How this trip actually started was since this was supposed to be the last day of decent weather, I went ahead and uh, decided to just go out of black water uh, and try to catch as many snakeheads as I could. Well, went to the first spot and you know the saying goes the early bird gets the worm well i got out there i thought it was early enough get to one of my favorite spots someone was already there and he was set up ready to catch snake heads you know the human size like Argh. but i can't be mad at him because he got there first man you know so I went to another spot that I like. It hasn't been as active this year because I believe from what I was told, the salinity was a lot different than last year, but it produced earlier in the year, but it really wasn't as active as it was in 2019. So I ventured out there. There was some jumping around, but I think it was some white perch. Yeah. So then I went back to their first spot and of course, he was still there, and he started catching snakeheads left and right, because if you know about this spot, this particular spot, it's popular, but there's also one particular spot within this spot that really produces snakeheads, and if you get there, if you're the first person there, you get to that spot, you're going to slay him. I intentionally left both of those spots out of this video. So with this video, I said, you know what? I wasn't catching them in any other area where this guy had set up first. So I decided to fish all the new spots that I had uh, that I had previously marked but never fished before. In this video, I'm going to show you how I scout spots and how I actually look for life, look for signs of activity when I'm fishing a new spot. And just because a spot isn't producing doesn't mean that it's not a good spot. It just might not be producing that day. But I'm not going to get too much into that because I actually explain that in a video. If you've never caught a snakehead before or if you need to build up your confidence with finding new spots, then this video is for you. Again, I think I'm up to 31 spots that I have marked in Blackwater. And 30 of them I found by myself. The one spot that someone told me about... It was pro probably one of the most popular spots in Blackwater. I haven't fished there in over a year. And there's not too, not too many people who don't know this spot. All right. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. All right. Fishing new snakehead spots, what I like to do is I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to sit back and observe. I'm going to look for bubbles coming out in the water. Look for possible snakeheads coming up for air. I'm just going to start looking for swirls, but you see where this water is absolutely standing still. There's not a lot of activity right here, so might be something hanging out, might not be. But again, the only way you're going to find out, get a line wet. See if we can, even if we don't catch nothing, see if we can get a reaction from our lure hitting the water. And again... There's no signs of human uh, interactions with this spot. So you would think that this would be a good spot. And these are just my methods to finding new bank spots for snakeheads. 
Now I see a turtle's head came up out of water way out there. So there's some sort of activity, but not the activity that we want. But I'm still not seeing no activity. I'm not hearing any splashes anywhere. No pops from snakeheads breaching the surface. Sometimes when you're casting, especially for snakeheads, it's not even about merely just catching them. It's just seeing if there's some sort of a reaction from your lure. You know, especially with top water, when you cast by brush, I can't tell you how many times I've spooked snakeheads just by casting right on top of them. But right now, I'm not seeing no evidence of anything in the area right now. Now, see, there's a little swirl right there in front of me off to my 10 o'clock. But now I'm starting to see a little bit of signs of life. But the question is, are they snakeheads? And again, sometimes you could see them, their bodies just below the surface when they come up for air. When they splash, you hear a distinct popping sound. And a lot of times if they react to your lure, you'll see a, a you'll see bubbles coming in a, from the path of your lure. And sometimes you'll actually see wake where it's following your lure. It's little telltale signs. But again, you're not gonna know if you don't put a lure in the water. My gauge of black water is, is very spotty where they're hitting right now. I saw some action in one popular spot. But again, I try to avoid the popular spots because that's just a ton of pressure that's just gonna push them further and further away. Oh, oh, something, something tapped it. Something tapped it. Something did tap it. Something nipped at it. All right. Again, this is why you wanna put lines in the water. There ain't no activity, but I could feel something nipping at this lure. If you wanna tell if a lure is actually getting struck by a fish or if you're just hitting the bottom, one, look for brush, like grass and weeds and stuff on your lure. All right, there's a little bit on there. Two, cast in the same spot. If you keep feeling them consistent bumps and nine times out of 10, that's just a, uh, a little uh, obstacle right there, like some, a little limb or brush or something like that. Again, I'm using, speckled gray uh, storm swim shad and it actually looks very familiar to the uh, bull minnows that are swimming out here so I'm imitating the bait that's the biggest thing when you're using lures forget all that crazy expensive stuff they got out there they work um, don't get me wrong but these cheap affordable swim shad work just as well too that's how I find snakehead spot screw asking people on Facebook and these snakehead sites and all that good stuff, man. Put the time in yourself and can't really nobody mess with you. All right. My thing is, my thing is I like finding things out for myself. There's already a lot of information out there on snakeheads, including information from yours truly. But me, I like finding stuff out for myself. I like seeing why things work the way they work. Just like the last video, the color of the Storm Swim Shad was everything. I'm starting to really see what colors these snakeheads prefer out here and what they really don't like. You know, and that's, that's how you become a better angler. And again, this time a year ago, I probably would have laughed at you if you're thinking about using lures, but I can't lie, using lures are fun. I'll never be one of these guys to knock people for using minnows and stuff. I'm not, I, I can't get down with that argument, but I'm just here to catch fish and the knowledge that I'm learning for myself, I wanna pass it on to you all, the viewer, and help you all out, all right? So we're gonna give a few more casts. I don't really think there's anything in this area and we're gonna keep it moving, all right? Mm. <sighs> Only thing that sucks is if we hook a monster, I did not bring my net. So I'm gonna have to either grab him straight out or something. Grab him by the gills and yank him out or something, man. But I can't do that too much because I don't have, I'm not trying to keep him today. I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> all right. 
Like I said, I passed the spot a couple times. Oh, and I had to find ways to oh, had to find somewhere to park. I found somewhere to park down there and I had just walked a little bit. I'm gonna let these cars pass. This is kind of dangerous, but if we're gonna catch a snakehead today, I believe it's gonna be right here. Very low pressure. Very low pressure, and there's a lot more activity right here, so. Got a swim bait on now. Oh, please, I wanna catch a snakehead right here. Oh, Lord, let me catch a snakehead right here. Come on, come on. Very low pressure here. Yeah, I could just about reach the other side anywhere, so. bubbling out there too. That's that kind of bubbling we want. Let's see if we can get something to bite. Did y'all see that jump out there? Lots of activity. We just got to get something to connect. Just got to get something to connect, man. Ooh, it's warming up. It's warming up out here. That's a good thing for the bite, but uh, only if something, only if they're actually biting. They might want a different color. They might want a different color, so. If that's the case, we're going to give them a different color. I know they're in here. I'm seeing evidence of it. Some coming up for air. Some of them jumping out of water. All right. So there's been a lot of splashing over here. And I actually have a minnow or a uh, swim shad on here that looks just like the minnows that are swimming around, naturally around black water. So hopefully we can get a commitment. One thing I've noticed, when you see snakeheads jumping a rockfish, just from my experience, rockfish will snatch that lure a lot faster than snakeheads will. And again, there ain't no signs to say no fishing or anything like that. And it's open to bikes, so, you know. Hike back to the car and keep fishing some of the other spots that I found. Like that bridge where I caught that little rock fish in the last video. Oh, there we go. There we go. Little snakehead. Little snakehead. Little, it's always the last cast too, y'all. All right. Spot verified. This ain't that big, but finally got <laughs> skunk out the bag. New spot. Oh. Little guy. Very little guy, y'all. See what I'm saying? He ain't big, but new spot. 
imitate the bait and you get results and i actually started reeling a little bit faster too because i wanted to be done man i was like all right i'm giving up on this spot i wanted to be done you know but it's not too bad all right little guy new spot parked the car i've been seeing a spot a few times i passed it i said you know what there's a spot to park there ain't no parking signs over there hey you know again northern snakehead all right beautiful colors he's still got a long life to he's still got a long life to live as well so you know all right we're gonna get him back release him he is young he's healthy got all his teeth <laughs> all right let's, get, let's let him go boom and he's gone just like that cool all right again ladies and gentlemen don't be afraid to park the car and go hiking for spots yeah sure it's along a busy road right here but skunks out the bag now man and that's how i do it that is exactly how tba finds snakehead spots in blackwater all right especially from shore kayak all you gotta do is kayak around and and try it out you know it's not too hard it's, it's not as hard to pick up and move on kayak because you have so much more area that you have access to as opposed to land but these are strictly for your shore fishermen you know who have nice spots and, and want to find new spots as anglers you know and i struggle with this myself it's easy to find a spot and to keep fishing that spot over and over and over again because it produces and you're used to it but there's only going to be a matter of time for someone else finds out about that spot so me i'm not a person to complain about oh this spot's burned up because everybody knows it no if you're complaining about a spot because it's burned up and everybody knows it and guess what you 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 need to improve your skill as an angler because for every spot that I catch snakeheads or someone else knows, I got five more spots ready to go. All right. Even now, I'm constantly looking for new spots. I know I haven't found many, all that many spots in Blackwater. I got plenty that I have found, but I know there's more to be found out there. And in 2021, I'm going to be doing a lot more kayak fishing up for snakeheads. So for those who are just getting into it, into uh, snakehead fishing catching snakeheads from shore you know look for the brush almost like a shoreline look for bridges you know look for snakeheads slowly coming up out of the water for air listen for that distinct popping sound uh, look for wake uh, look for minnows that are jumping and looks like they're evading something just look at everything all right and sometimes a lot of that stuff could be going on and next thing you know you just find that one that's just sitting there you know as you saw in a video i was about to pull that out the lure and go move to another spot and that's what that snakehead hit all right so i'm out of here i'm chilling inside a day with the weather all right so y'all take care all right so in the meantime y'all take care be easy, Baltimore Angler. See you later.